नमस्ते गॉड जस्ट पीपल वेलकम टू माई चैनल देसी कर ली दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ स्कैल्प केयर सीरीज एंड वी आर टॉकिंग ड्राई स्कैल्प टूडे फॉर दो डो नॉट नो आई एम डूइंग अ सीरीज ऑन स्कैल्प केयर वेर आई टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंट स्कैल्प टाइप्स डिफरेंट स्कैल्प कंसर्न प्रोडक्ट रिकमेंडेशन फॉर ईच स्कैल्प टाइप एंड कंसर्न एंड हाउ टू मैनेज इट इन डे टू डे लाइफ ड्राई ऑयली नॉर्मल ड्रैंड ऑफ इचिंग एवरी थिंग वी आर कवरिंग हेयर ड्राई स्किन इज बेसिकली जस्ट ड्राई स्कैल्प दैट मीन्स इट सो डिहाइड्रेटेड दैट द स्किन इज कमिंग ऑफ आई हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट ड्राई स्कैल्प एंड अदर स्कैल्प टाइप्स इन पार्ट वन इन डिटेल नो हैविंग ड्राई स्कैल्प इज क्वाइट एन अनकम्फर्टेबल कंडीशन इन इट सेल्फ बिकॉज इट फील्स ड्राई फ्ले की इची ऑल द टाइम एंड दैट्स वाई इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू मैनेज इट विद राइट प्रोडक्ट्स एंड राइट हैबिट बिकॉज फॉर सम पीपल इट कैन ऑल्सो एग्रेवेड इन टू एक्जेमा नो हेयर वट यू नीड टू डू Firstly, oil lightly before shampoo, just a tiny amount on scalp. Leave it for 30 minutes to one hour, and then wash it off with a gentle shampoo. Make sure you are using only a little amount, not too much, not that heavy, chumpy, because that's going to need a lot of shampoo, and that's further going to dry out your scalp. This is not ideal, so chumpies are not so ideal for anyone. Also, make sure you are not using super thick, goopy kind of oils. They are very difficult to remove. They need lot of shampoo, and do not use essential oils directly because they can further dry out and irritate scalp. Second step: wash with a very gentle shampoo. This is very important step. Once you have identified that you have dry scalp, do not use anything on scalp that makes scalp feel very squeaky clean. You can still use a strong shampoos on your hair length, but on scalp. strictly stick to gentle shampoos only also known as moisturizing shampoos or conditioning shampoos these will gently clean your scalp leaving scalp skin feeling very soft and conditioned but not dry or dehydrated or stretchy later on or squeaky apart from gentle shampoos you can also use co-washes now for those who do not know co-washes are basically creamy conditioner like cleansers they do not froth but they clean a little and condition a little too and co-washes can be very useful for those who wash quite often but do not rely just on co-washes co-wash on some days and shampoo on the other days for example co-wash then shampoo next time then co-wash next time just like that exfoliate weekly now exfoliation will slowly remove the dry upper layer of flaky skin and reveal that newer softer healthier skin that's underneath and it's also beneficial for removing that build up of oil dirt and products and that's why it's really important for healthy hair growth too now there are a lot of scalp scrub available in the market most of those are those coffee and sugar scrubs but i would personally recommend you this one this is called thrive co aha bha pha exfoliating scalp scrub the reason i'm recommending this is because it's different instead of having those coffee and sugar beads this has hydroxy acids to remove that upper layer of skin gently and slowly without causing any micro tears or any kind of wounds on scalp and you know it's very easy and non messy to use it just apply it on clean scalp after shampoo massage it gently to spread it everywhere and then leave it for 10 minutes rinse it off and you are good to go make sure you massage your scalp when you are rinsing it so that all the product is removed from scalp now avoid keeping it more than 10 minutes or using it more than once a week because we do not want over exfoliation either you can also use those sugar or coffee or those bd scalp scrub but you have to be very careful because they can easily cause micro tears on scalp if you rub them too much because they have you know sharp edges those particles have sharp edges so be careful when you are using them and use very gentle pressure or just avoid them use something like this that has creamy very soft kind of texture and because it has that creamy soft conditioner like base when you rinse it off you will also feel your scalp is feeling very soft and conditioned which is a huge plus in case of dry scalp and this is not just for dry scalp you can also use it for oily scalp because this has bha so it will also help in controlling that sebum production that excess sebum production you can also use it if you have seborrheic dermatitis or psoriasis but make sure that you do not have active wounds or bleeding on scalp like open wounds when you are using this first heal them and then use this this is a gem of a product now fourth step is using conditioner and stylers as usual once you are done with all that nice scalp care use your conditioner or hair mask followed by your stylers as usual just make sure you are not using not applying that conditioner hair mask or stylers on scalp directly like if they touch that's okay but do not literally like put it on scalp and massage because those are not designed for scalp so we do not want any kind of skin irritation on scalp moisturize scalp now this step should not be missed by dry scalp we have cleaned all that scalp removed all that build up and flaky skin and everything and our scalp is nice and fresh and softer now but dry scalp is dry scalp right 
it will not retain moisture if we leave it as is just like dry skin on face if we leave it as is without a moisturizer it will not retain any moisture and will get dry and flaky again that's what happens with dry scalp too so that's why we need to apply something externally to moisturize scalp skin and also strengthen it so that that dryness flaking itching will not happen again but at the same time the product should not be too oily so we need something water based the scalp vitalizing serum is a really good option it's non greasy non oily non sticky totally like water and the ingredients are so helpful and impressive for dry skin this copper peptide that improves elasticity and heals skin humectants like glycerin hyaluronic acid to retain moisture and hydration in skin alpha glucosyl hyperspiritin for improving skin condition and many other ingredients to soften heal and moisturize scalp skin without making it greasy or oily and it's very easy to use it just drop some on your hands and massage it across scalp and done Simple and best part is that you can use it literally every day. It will not make the scalp greasy or oily, and you can also replace this one with your regular hair oil. And there is no need to wash it off either. It's just like those skincare serums or essences that are moisturizing and hydrating, but for scalp. You can also use this scalp vitalizing serum in other dry scalp conditions like psoriasis and eczema, but I'll suggest you take a go ahead from your dermatologist first. It might look a little expensive initially, but the results are so impressive you will want to buy it every time and little goes a long way so it won't be that expensive, trust me. And I'll link everything in the description box with a discount code as well so you can buy it from there and save some money as well. Now this was your scalp and hair care routine along with what products should you be using, but along with that there are few pointers that you should keep in mind. First, do not scratch your scalp no matter what. Avoid using heat as much as possible. Heat will just dry out your scalp. Use lukewarm water or normal temperature water but never hot water. And if you are using blow dryer or diffuser or anything to dry your hair, avoid using hot air on scalp. And when you are going out, use hat and scarves to, you know, cover your scalp area. Very importantly, avoid overwashing. This will again make your scalp very very dry. Avoid using DIYs on scalp. For example, ACV is very acidic and it has no proven studies that it helps scalp in any way. Baking soda, lemon, huge sugar granules can really irritate your scalp, really cause micro tears, so avoid using them. Irrespective of what scalp you have. If you really want to use DIY, use aloe vera gel. You can also use some carrier oil, just mix in it and apply on scalp. That's also very soothing for scalp. But avoid using essential oils directly on scalp or using in huge concentration. Avoid using drying products on scalp for example henna multani mitti clay hair color strong shampoos on scalp or anything that makes scalp squeaky feeling and stretchy tight feeling drink lots of water maintain hydration and have lots of nutritious food because that really affects directly your overall health and scalp and organs as well and avoid smoking and alcohol as much as possible that's all the gyan you guys i hope you really found this video very helpful and you will never have to feel uncomfortable again because of that dry scalp if you found this video helpful please 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 let me know in the comment section share this video with your friends and family so that they don't have to feel uncomfortable with their scalp and i'll see you in next series in next episode till then bye bye